The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how I set the tail belt tension. This is not meant to be a comprehensive or exhaustive guide on the subject. This is just meant to be a, a, a quick video, just showing the facts. So too low a tail belt tension may manifest as an annoying belt slap uh, inside of the boom, um, but may actually uh, cause a decrease in the uh, tail uh, performance, especially when loading the tail during aggressive maneuvers. Now, if the tail belt tension is too high, this will cause drag on the head, uh, which will uh, tend to decrease motor efficiency, increase uh, uh, wear on the mechanics prematurely, and most important, I think, it will cause a, a, a negative impact uh, doing auto rotations. So I uh, tend to tighten the uh, tail belt uh, while feeling for uh, drag on the on the head. So in this case, the tail belt is pretty loose, okay? This is really, really loose. And I can turn uh, the head very easily, even using my pinky finger, okay? So I uh, set this as my um, baseline, if, if you will. So I'm gonna start increasing the tail belt by, in this uh, helicopter is by pulling on the boom. Okay, and I'm gonna feel for, okay, see here I start to feel drag on the, on the head, all right? And, and I will probably increase uh, the tail belt. I'm actually, you know, pulling on the boom until I feel like there's too much drag, okay? Maybe loosen this up a little bit and you will have to uh, feel, this is gonna be a trial and error, of course. And for me, this is like really, really good tension, okay? If it feels good here, um, this will spin pretty pretty well, okay? So what happens if I really pull on it? You know, do that the uh, Gorilla uh, Titan, okay? I think this is pretty, pretty darn tight, and to keep it tight, I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. And see how everything is just draggy. It's just, you know, very, very draggy, okay? That's too tight, at least for me. So again, you just have to find uh, the sweet spot between uh, too tight and too loose.